Yeah, just obviously disappointing the outcome. Um, they're, you know, we talked about, you know, going to have to be physical. They're, they're a physical, physical Big Ten fo football team. You know, down the stretch last year, they really got going. Um, Want to be physical in the run game. Their defense, really, really tough. Um, defense was fantastic the whole game. Fought their tail off. Held Big Ten team to 13 points. I mean, they they, they beat Illinois 48-42. Like, our defense held them to 13 points. And I know there's plays they'd like that back, you know. Um, so defense did everything they could to put us in position to win, and they did put us in position to win. And then it was like, <sighs> we did move the ball some on offense. But a lot of longer fields because Northwestern plays the game the right way and they protect, you know, they do a good job. But we didn't have a lot of short fields. Um, and then we move and then we, we weren't very good on third down. And we, you know, we'd be physical on one run, but then we'd get beat on the next run. We'd be physical on a couple pass pros. Then we'd get beat on a pass pro. You know, we'd, we'd get open and make some catches. And then we wouldn't get open again. A lot of it just credit to Northwestern. They got, get, you know. Um, but just the whole game, I felt like we could score. Like, and then we get, you know, we had the one drive down there. Um, we get a one score, then we get the missed field goal. I thought we were winning at that. I'm like, yeah, it's perfect. We've just been hanging around. And now we, we, we were kind of in a little rhythm. We put together a couple decent drives there, and then we, we kind of marched it down. And then, you know, their safety stepped in front of the dig and made a good play. And, you know, all of a sudden we're not going to win, you know. So I thought we'd get it to overtime and try to beat them in overtime. Um, again, positive the defense, positives. I, our offense guys did not turn anything down. I love their compete. I love the look in their eye. I like when they came off. I like how we, even late we're down 10. They're ready to go back out there, and we put a drive together and then get it to seven. Then we put another drive together and get it to where you got a chance, you know. And um, like I said, it's it doesn't – these kids are so competitive. Tremendous compliments to them from the Northwestern players and coaches, and they play Big Ten football and they coach Big Ten football. You know, so it doesn't mean our kids just mad they lost. So at this, but um, try to keep them going in the right direction, just because it's frustrating. We we came here to win a game. We knew we could win a game. We knew it's a quality opponent. We knew it's a physical opponent. They got they made more plays than we did in the end, and they beat us by a score. So uh, proud of, proud of a lot of things, but again, we came here to win a game. We didn't get it done. Coach, uh, going into halftime 3-3, um, what was, I guess, what was the predominant focus from that point on? Yeah. yeah. Halftime was a really tough thing. We had no time at halftime. We, yeah, we got down here and then we had to go. That was the only, they were they were amazing. Like, the setup here was amazing. Like, what they've done, not only just the field, but just our, like, our locker room space. Like, I'll take that every week. That was, that was incredible. That was awesome. So, again, I'm not, I don't want, very, very appreciative. Just we were, we were in and out so quick at halftime. I got back with, you know, 45 seconds on the game clock. Um, but uh, we just knew we were, it was a long battle in the first half, and it was hot, and it was physical, and do we got another 30 minutes left to fight and fight and find a way to get it done. You know, they, they got it done the third quarter. That's where they won the game. They got, they, got, they got 10 points. We didn't get any. We had the ball first, so we had our opportunity. We didn't do anything offensively in the third quarter, uh, and uh, – then we battled hard in the fourth quarter and got got one score back and had a chance to get another one. So it was uh, our kids. I don't know. they they really respect Northwestern. Um, knew how physical and how how just they play the game right there. They're they do what's coached like you, you, and they did. And they did over and over. And they're, you know it's kind of like looking in the mirror. Different styles like schematically. But I would say, I said to their coach like I bet if I bet if our defensive staff and your defense staff switch places, except for. Except for the structure of the defense, I bet they say the exact same stuff. I bet they believe in the exact same stuff because it's, it's, you know, what we see on tape reminds us of who, who we try to be every day. And I think we do it. I think Coach Preak and his staff does an amazing job. You know, same thing on offense. We're going to – and I always say, like, the non-league games, not just challenging because the opponent is obviously quality, but you're starting the year and you're four games away from conference and it's like – I watch, I'm going to watch the fourth quarter and thinking we shot, probably should open it up earlier. That's kind of when we were at our best. I know I know we threw a pick on the last drive, but we had a nice drive, and then we had another nice drive going. And it's like, but we want to play like Northwestern. Like, that's who we are, you know. And then you go up a level. I always I, I talk about this all the time with the staff. Like, how we play ain't the best way to – like, we try to go Northwestern. I'll, I'll Northwestern, Northwestern. Like, we play like they play, and they're a Big Ten team. 
you know, we go to Minnesota, we try to play more fit. Like, and that's how they play. We go to Iowa, we try to do the same thing. You know what I mean? So our style, we think is very conducive to winning. But when you go up a hair, it's like, you know, I'm watching the fourth quarter. I'm like, ah, oh, we should have got out. We should open up and start whipping around earlier. Maybe that was, you know, but also we're trying to establish who the heck we are for the season. Like this is our first game. We don't, we're not a chuck and duck team, you know, and that's, that's fine. Some teams aren't have success that way. That's not how we win. Uh, and we believe in how we win the same way Northwestern believes how they win. So you go on these big 10 teams that are big and physical and like to pound. Well, we're trying to do the same thing. Like, Here we go, boys. Like they're thinking, why are they, why are they trying to pound on a big 10? It's who, you know, but again, we only got four games before we play Toledo week five and we got to have some type of identity. It's very hard to establish that identity. It'd be nice if you could go in 60 to four, you know, and you're, you know, this is who we're going to be and get your, like, they, that's not so. We got a bye week, which is weird, but we got a bye week. We'll take advantage of that. Um, a little bit early in the year for it, but we'll take advantage of that. We got we got you know two big big time points, and you got a, a good UMass team almost beat us a year ago. So um, I don't have a good plan for this grind because I mean, didn't want to play Brett today. Like I just want to give him a conference, let him cut him loose and goes. Like now nah, he would have killed me if I suggested not playing you know but I'm like uh, kids coming off a major injury and we're going to send them out against this defense and then since these defense and Notre Dame's defense like yeah great great way to get back into it you know and he just compete his tails off and you know I know he had a pick at the end and you know he's going to be beating himself up over I know it and whatever like he hardly ever makes a mistake and but he, he's out there fighting and scratching and clawing and it's like and you know he's going to play if you put him out there he only plays one way he's going to play only one way. Like there's no, well, could he? Eh. No, he's trying to win. He he loves compete. So, love our compete level. Love our look in our eyes. Love our approach. Love how we showed up here. We were not. We had a good looking pregame. We were just just want to go get after him. See see how we stacked up. So very very proud of a lot of things. What's it like playing against a quarterback that you might not have a lot of film on because of their transfer status? Does that have a lot of impact on what you saw in the first half? Yeah. No, we kind of knew he was going to play. And again, the other kid's really athletic too. And then the more thing, they had a new OC from South Dakota State. So, like, last year's film was useless because you have a new offense coordinator. But we had enough tape on them to, like – and, again, that first game, there's always going to be some wrinkles in the first game anyways. But we, we were – I would think Coach Breakin felt pretty good right now based on the prep. Like, we saw a lot of the stuff we thought we were going to see. There was some new stuff. But uh, we knew with that OC and, and, and who Coach Braun is, like, we – <laughs> he's bringing OC. They're <laughs> pounding the ball, and they're going to take their shots. Um, try to make some big plays in the past game. They, we knew they had athletic quarterbacks. We figured this guy would be the first, get the guy to get the first chance. So, and he did, you know, again, we did pretty good. And then he got a couple late ones. The last two drives, he got two, you know, one that set up the field goal that they missed and the other one that iced it. Like, so he's, you know, he's on an SEC track team. He's a pretty, pretty dynamic dude, you know? So, but I, I think, again, our kids totally, re like, it's like, not uh, he stinks. Like, they, like, they know this kid's a freak athlete. You know, he's, you know, he's played, in the SEC and done had success in the SEC, but they're excited about that chat. That's why I like our kids were excited to try to. And did we stop? No, they got you know they got us thirteen to six, but they they knew what they're up against and they were they embraced getting after him. And I think at least I would hope he feels like that we made hard on him. You know, I would think I hope he feels that way. I think he does.